I'm back in Portugal after a trip to the UK, although you wouldn't believe this is Portugal. It's very grey and it's actually very cold. I'm not walking along with a wine bottle because I now have a selfie stick thing. And um, yeah, I had a lovely three weeks in London. Is it? <laughs> so I'm out here. I shouldn't be. It's very cold. I'm practically wearing a quilt and it is just perfect. I don't know what these signs mean here. Look, these. Does anyone know what these mean? But anyway, I shouldn't be out here. I should be indoors. But this, where I'm staying, so I'm on my next. Ah, oh, so I should say, I'm on my next house sit and I'm in the Viseu district, about 30 minutes from the city of Viseu. See, look, this lovely trail, got the little trail thingies and there's trails just all around the house. So the outside was just calling me. I'm only going for a little walk around the house, even though it's... um grey and cold it's so beautiful look look at these walls aren't they lovely very um hobbit like lord of the rings like sorry i just had to show you that it's so maybe if maybe if i walk like that then you can see a bit of what i'm seeing um what did i want to tell you oh yes so i keep on getting asked oh what else oh look at that view Hang on. Sorry, I just looked behind me. Isn't that pretty? And the church bells just rang. Isn't that lovely? You probably think, no, it's not. It's cold and miserable, but I think it's lovely. Gosh, I can't believe how I come in here looking such a mess. Anyway, um, what did I want to tell you? Um, so yeah, it was a lovely, lovely break. Um, did some lovely walking around the um, lovely countryside of um, Buckinghamshire, which is where I was staying. And um, yeah, it's a bit, um, it's nicer weather than this. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. But after about, I was there three weeks, but the last few days I was really itching to get back. It was, that was about enough. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, just distracted. I, I should not do this outside. Um, I keep on getting asked about um, public transport and costs. So as I, I, when I went to the UK, I came from Fundau area. Well, I had to go into Fundau to get the coach. So I took the coach to Lisbon airport. And on the way back from Lisbon to Fundau, I took the train. So when I get back in, I'm going to pull up the prices um, just to let you know, because I keep on getting asked about um, the cost of public transport and generally what it's like and stuff. So I'll put, I'll do that when I get back. Uh, so there's the coach to um, the Orient station, then an Uber, which was cheaper than getting a bus. Um, and, um, and then the same back, uh, except it was a train back. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's just, a, that's about it. I, I'm here for quite a while, so I'm going to do lots of exploring. So I'm going to take you along with me. Gosh, look, people have actually planted, they're not saplings, they've clearly been planted, eucalyptus trees around the border of their house. village near where this house is is such a treat because this is the second time I've walked around it now 
and I haven't had a single dog barking at me. Um, I normally walk every, not every evening, but I normally walk, often walk in the evening after dinner to listen to audio books and make phone calls and stuff. And sometimes I can't even talk on the phone or listen to something in my earphones because the dog barking is that loud. And, um, but I've been out in the evening at the time when normally the dogs are in the garden barking away. Not a single dog. It's so peaceful. It's really unusual. That's the, um, one of the, I don't think I've ever walked around a village without, um, whoops, sorry, just caught you in a tree. I don't think I've ever walked around a village with, um, without being shouted at by dogs the whole way round. So yeah, it's so peaceful. Just a little bit of where I'm walking. Hear the church bells. Nice little houses dotted all over. Oh, this will be, imagine what this will be like in the summer. It'll be lovely. I think this is another trail. A lot of the places I stay, it's really hard to just step out of your house and go for a walk because the roads are a death trap and in the winter when it gets dark early it would be it's really difficult um and um or they're really on really 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 steep hills hilly areas so um you haven't got any choice but to do quite a hilly walk so it's it's um yeah it's often I mean, I've stayed in a few places where it's just been lovely where to um, step out of the door and walk the dogs, but many where it isn't. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Built into the rock. Oh, wow. So, as promised, information on the journey. So we were travelling from Fundau to Lisbon Airport and took the coach. So the coach was 16 euros and as I said, for under 29 year olds, there's a discount. So that for my daughter was 14 euros and 40 cents. The coach um, stops at Castelo Branco. Going through Castelo Branco, there was these protests and I still don't know, haven't been able to find out what they were. I'm wondering if they were the spread of the Dutch farmers process, uh, process protest. So if anyone knows, I'd be very interested. Um, so yeah, I can't remember now, but I do think it was just the one stop at Castelo Branco from Vendau. So then that coach took us to um, Orient Station in Lisbon. Now to, it's just about uh, four kilometers to the, um, yeah, I think it's around four kilometers to the airport, about 30 minute walk according to Google Maps. I would walk it if I didn't have luggage. But um, to get a bus, I do believe, I'd have to check this myself, but I understand the bus is three euros. But you have to get a card to pay to get on the bus and the minimum top up for the card is five euros. So now there was two of us and the Uber, oh, not Uber, Bolt was four euros and 19 cents. I mean, it's much more convenient and a bargain. And we got a great tip from the driver. The driver drives for Uber and Bolt and he says passengers do the same, they use Uber and Bolt. I've only ever had Uber app on my phone, but my daughter had Bolt and um, it's cheaper. And um, the driver had said that often the both um, Bolt and Uber have offers. So what the passengers will do is just use both apps and see what's cheaper and take the, um, offers you know that are on and the vouchers and as a driver they don't suffer they get paid the same so 16 euros for the coach four euros 19 cents for the bolt and that's the journey from central portugal to lisbon airport now on the way back i flew easyjet to lisbon airport again and again i bypassed the buses 
and took a bolt from the airport to Orient Station. And the station I should just add is where you get the buses, the trains and the metro. Now my bolt from the airport to Orient Station was only three euros and 65 cents because it was an extra small car. And um, there was only me. If there wasn't only me, you could only fit one case in the boot. And, um, but there was only me. So one suitcase in the boot is all, it's tiny this car, but three euros 65, what a bargain. The train was 16 euros and 85 cents. And generally the trains and the coaches take about the same amount of time and also are roughly about the same, um, same price usually. Coach is usually slightly cheaper, but they're around the same and definitely the times are the same. I only took the train because there wasn't a coach till a lot later in the afternoon, but I'm so glad I took the train. It was, I mean, train's nicer anyway, because you can get up and walk around and um, I think it's a little bit more spacious, a little bit more leg room. And, um, but the scenery was beautiful. The train line followed for part of the way along the um, Targush, Tugush, I think, river. And um, it's beautiful, it's stunning. I enjoyed the train ride a lot more than the coach, but they're equally just as good. Yeah, so that's the costs and the journey. Easy to book the tickets either online, on the apps for the coach and the train or um, at the ticket office. And both the train and the coach have USB charging points. So there, I keep on getting asked for information on that and there it is. So, as I said, I'm now in Viseu, still in central Portugal, just right on the northern edge of central Portugal. So I'm gonna be exploring the area. So if you wanna come along, join me on the next few videos. See you then. You're so sweet. Yes.